Welcome! This is how to solve the square one. The square one is just like a regular Rubik's cube, except for the middle layer, that has this particular kind of movement. Ok. We have four corners and four heads. Corners are pieces made up by three colors and heads are pieces made up by two colors. We have two different sides and uh, the most difficult thing about this kind of game is when you have to turn it into a cube shape. Once that this game is in a cube shape, everything becomes really easy. Now I'm gonna scramble the cube. Now that the cube is scrambled, our goal is to have six corners on one side of the cube. It doesn't matter which side. We can work on this side or the other side, it has no importance. We have one, two, three, four, five corners on one side of the cube and one, two, three corners on the other side. As we already have five corners on this side of the cube, we will start working on this side. So I'm gonna place the upper part this way so the two edge has to leave the, the upper side of the cube and the bottom side has to be this way so we can make the inversion and we have a corner here in the down right position. This way I can get rid of these two edges, making an inversion, moving the, the downside in this way and going up again. Now I have six corners on one side of the cube. The other side can be in a different shape. We have the eye shape in this case and to solve this we just have to use a random position of the bottom side, it doesn't matter which one, and the inversion has to cut in two this kind of shape. For example, we have one corner and four edges, one corner and four edges in the other half of the, of the shape. I make an inversion. I have this kind of shape in one side and the same, the same shape on the other side. Doing this, I can invert this kind of shape. Now I have this one in one side and the same one on the other side. I can make one vertical, the other one horizontal and cut the shape in two as I did before. Now that I have this kind of shape, I got this solid and with an inversion I have the square one turning to a cube. Now that the square one is turning to a cube shape we have to work on the corners. So we have uh, three red corners in the, on this side and three orange corners on the other side. So let's work with the, with the red one on the top, it doesn't matter. And uh, let's put the, the, the red corners, the red corner here. So let's find for the red corners, which is in this side, the down left position. Turn the middle layer so we have the so we can work on in this way and do this. 30 degrees in the upper side, this kind of movement, I, I will call this kind of movement 30 degrees. 30 degrees, invert, do this with the bottom and then go up. Ok, now we have to work on the edge. We have one uh, orange uh, edge left, 
which is its corresponding here. And we have to bring this and solve this, this bring this up and solve this kind of situation. One edge has to be on the left side, the other one has to face us. 30 degrees with the bottom, invert, 30 degrees with the upper side, 30 on the bottom, then invert again. Now we have two edges, 90 degrees each other on one side and two edges, 180 degrees each other. The edges have to be 180 degrees each other to work properly. So we have to work on these two, which are in an incorrect position. We have to bring this edge here to have uh, the edge 180 degrees uh, each other. So the move sequence is very is really important and it works in this way. Place the upper side so that one edge leaves the top of the cube, the other one stays on the cube. This is correct. As you can see, this edge, this piece, leaves the top side of the cube, the other one stays on the cube. So, this is incorrect because they both leave the cube. This is correct, okay? I invert left two, one, can you see? Two, invert, right two, one, two, invert, left two, one, two, invert, right two, one, two, invert. Okay, so now we have 180 degrees on one side and 180 degrees on the other side. Put the edge so that we have one edge that faces us, the other one is, is on the back side and the same on the bottom, this way. So, now we have to do 30 degrees on the bottom, invert, 30 degrees up, 30 degrees down, invert. Now we have all the orange on one side and all the reds on the other side. The middle layer has really no importance. If you don't want to see the middle layer in this kind of shape and you want to see the cube, just do this. Invert 180 degrees with the top side. Invert again 180 degrees on the top side and invert again. Okay.